very talented actor you know from Inception and 500 Days of Summer. Now, Joseph Gordon-Levitt is starring in the new movie, The Trial of the Chicago 7, and he is joining us live. Thank you so much for being with us today. Happy to have you here, Joseph. Hey, guys. Good morning. Hey, good morning. All right, so we love a throwback Thursday, and we wanted to go back to the show Third Rock on the Sun. Oh, look at that. And you recently had a virtual reunion with your co-star, John Lithgow, and he and that show were a very important part of your formative years. Tell us about the reunion. Yeah, it's so true. Third Rock from the Sun was all my <laughs> teenage years. I did that from age 13 to 19. And yeah, that's like my, my second family, you know, and I learned so much from John about not only acting in comedy and being an artist, but but just being a, a person, you know, mm -hmm. being a being a kind human being. And we got to talking just recently because he put out a book. Um, it's called Trumpy Dumpty Wanted a Crown. He wrote all this poetry, sort of this dark <laughs> political satire uh, about, about our president. And then uh, people in my hit record community, if you know, I, I, I do this thing called hit record where people all over the world make art together online. And people have been making art out of John's poetry. And it's been such a special thing to have something uh, you know, that he made get to mix with something that I made, and uh, it's just meant a lot. Wow, that's a cool story there, man. Yeah. But um, let's turn to the trial of the Chicago 7 here. Were you that familiar with this story about the peace activists who went on trial uh, after uh, the, their protests at the 1968 uh, Democrat convention? Did you have to do, do a lot of catching up uh, about this story? You know what's funny is I actually did know a lot about it because my parents were really active in the peace movement in the 60s and 70s. So I grew up with books on the shelf in my household, you know, <laughs> about this exact thing, about, you know, the Vietnam War and about the Nixon administration. And wow. um, it, it was it was sort of the stuff of legends in my family. And so when I got to tell my parents, you know, Aaron Sorkin called me up and he wants me to you know, playing this courtroom drama about the 68 DNC. They were, they were pretty thrilled. All right, well, let's take a quick look at a clip here. How do you see them? Personally or in terms? Personally. I see them as vulgar, anti-establishment, anti-social, and unpragmatic, but none of those things are indictable. And imagine how impressed I'll be when you get an indictment. Then there's a bigger question. Which is? Who started the riots? Was it the protesters or was it the police? The police don't start riots. They'll have witnesses who say they started this one. And you'll dismantle them and you'll win. Because, Mr. Schultz, that's what's expected of you. Wow. I mean, this trial, Joseph, happened more than 50 years ago, as you know. But, wow, is it relevant today? Were you all talking about that when you were shooting it? Well, I mean, we shot it well before the you know recent tragedies of George Floyd and Breonna Taylor and everything. So, I mean, of course, we were aware of how relevant it is today. It's, you know, sadly remained relevant for the last 50 years. But then seeing what has been happening lately with people raising their voices in protests and the American government unfortunately doing a lot to undermine the rights of those protesters, uh, it's become... Again, sadly, all the more relevant. And it's it's a crazy thing. When you watch the movie, it feels like you're watching something that's happening today, yeah. even though it's a story about 1968. Well, let's hope we can all learn something from it. But, I mean, certainly yeah. couldn't be better timed. We appreciate your time today. Thank you so much, Joseph, for being with us. So glad to see you guys. Thanks for having me. <laughs> and The Trial of the Chicago 7 is in select theaters and will also be on Netflix tomorrow. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.